Weldon is 91 years old. His last name is Story, but with an E between the R and the Y. And man, does he have a story. Facebook? No, he doesn't. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Weldon Story was a student of the first graduating class of Rancocas Valley Regional High School in 1937. In celebration of their 75th anniversary, Weldon took a tour of his alma mater. Now, ironically, today, on this day, we're actually changing out the, the entire weight room. Yeah. I think some of those weights were here. Uh, you Weldon were is sort of the epitome of the RV spirit. Uh, his enthusiasm, his love of the school is really reflective of many of our graduates who continuously come back. I, I love to meet new people. I love to meet you. Ron, I, I feel like Ron's a friend of mine now. You wouldn't think that Weldon's story was 91 years old by the mere fact that he gets around pretty easily, but he tells me he's only one of three or four members of his class that are still living, yet he's still a very active member of his alumni. He has just been uh, utterly devoted to RV in terms of his communication with us, wanting to know what's going on, and, uh, and as you saw today, he can regale you with, uh, you know, literally hundreds of stories about the schools. The only thing I remember really good is the, is the, is the auditorium. My mother sat right over there, so that's nice. I'm where I remember the right hand side, I remember that. The, uh, the newspaper for the school is called the Holly Spirit. Yes. So I remember that, yeah. Th this area of the building was the original school that you were in. Yeah. You know. That's kind of hard to remember now. I know that. But <laughs> Weldon even found a photo of him from a field trip to Washington, D.C. and got to talk to students during a class. I like talking to young kids like that, you know. Not that it'll make a big difference in their life. The history to me is awful important, you know. You have to, you have to know. You have to know where you're going, but you also have to, should nice to know where you've been. Weldon plans on using the photographs he took today and the memories of his alma mater in his new book of his hometown called Lumberton, Then and Now. Reporting from Mount Holly, I'm Amanda King for phillyburbs.com. This is probably the only one-man reunion in <laughs>